Okay, so this is about the Smart Spot Quality EQA program for TrueNet MTB and MTB RIF. So just briefly, a little bit about Smart Spot. Our drive is to empower you to save lives and uplift communities. And we do that by providing not only excellent quality controls, but also the service and the support behind it that really um, helps staff, labs, and, and big institutions make a difference in their um, communities. We are a South African EQA provider with about 12 years of experience. We are ISO IEC 17043-2010 accredited and one of the largest molecular TV EQA providers with distribution in 35 countries. We also have WHO endorsement for our smart spot MTB RIF um, expert verification panels. We started as a research project at the University of the Witwatersrand Runt that became a spin out company. Um, from the departments of molecular medicine and hematology, as well as the Center of Excellence in Biomedical TB Research. We have verified more than 54,500 expert modules across 40 countries, and we have a global footprint of 50 countries enrolled across programs in HIV, TB, and SARS CoV 2 with 1,400 instruments. For TrueNet specifically, we have done a validation um, on our SARS CoV 2 EQA in April last year and also for the MTB RIF program that we're presenting today in August last year. We have collaborations with various molecular um, diagnostic manufacturers to develop controls for additional assays, such as SARS-CoV-2, MTB XDR, HIV, HCV, and also MRSA. Our quality controls are designed for correct diagnosis. So we look at various factors when designing our program, such as sample ID switching, sample preparation errors, cross-contamination between specimens, lack of communication between laboratories and their referring specialists or doctors, as well as incorrect identification and or other anomalies in probe detection where we have more information available to us. For the MTB Roof External Quality Assessment Program, this EQA provides valuable information regarding the success of the TrueNet implementation um, in each of the countries that will be participating to assess the performance of the laboratory and compare it to others, to provide ongoing verification of the performance of the test system. Um, the data can be used to identify labs in need of additional support and direct technical assistance. It also helps to ensure the quality of laboratory results and informs the NTP on performance of the TrueNet in the field and help direct resources. It is an essential component of the QMS. Our EQA quality control panels look like this, this image on your left, and it is called dry culture spots or DCS for short, containing either MTB, uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis, non-tuberculosis mycobacteria or NTMs, and or MTB negative material. Each DCS is inactivated or inherently non-infectious, quantified and intact organisms. And these DCS panels can be stored at ambient temperature. For each of these panels of four specimens, you will receive three panels over the course of a year, and it tests both the pre and post analytical processes. So from the moment that you open the bag and remove the control until the moment that you see your result report, there are various points that are tested in the process. There are three cycles for this year. Um, this first cycle will be shipped in, on the 23rd of March with, with results due in April. The second and the third um, panels will be shipped in on the 18th of July with the second cycle um, results being submitted in the month of August and the third cycle being submitted in the month of November. I know that most of you watching today um, are part of the Zimbabwe program, which has started a little bit early. So the due dates for the Zimbabwe program for cycle one is between the 10th of February to the 10th of March. But for cycle two and three, it will fall in the same categories as the, the general group in August for the second cycle and in November for the third cycle. Okay, so let's get started on how this works. <laughs> So when you're submitting results, you will be logging into SSQ Monitor 
by this link on your left hand side www.ssqmonitor.com on this home page you can download instructions you can download enrollment and participate um, participation certificates and you can also download the qc participant handbook which gives a little bit of extra information on the turnaround times of reports how the programs work which um, programs we support how you can um, get assistance when you need assistance and so forth um, we also have this available on mobile so for each one of these slides that i'm going to be going through i'll also show you what the mobile view looks like on the right hand side of the screen you also have the exact same um yeah the exact same abilities to download instructions download certificates and download the qc participant handbook from your mobile phone Once you have logged in and you scroll down on the home page, you can select um, this submit EQA or verification results, or you can scroll a bit further down and select the EQA program that you're enrolled for. In this case, the TrueNet MTB and MTB RIF program. You will also see the cycle dates for each um, yeah for each panel. On mobile view, it'll look exactly the same. So, um, submit eco verification results, as well as just a little further down, the TrueNet MTB and MTB RIF program. Under your site that you are enrolled for, you'll be able to see all the programs that you are enrolled for. When you click on either submit these results or the program that you're submitting for, a submission instrument selection page will open up. And on this page, on the right hand side, you'll see a submit button for the open cycle. So where the cycle is not open yet, a submit button will not appear until the cycle opens up. So for the second cycle, the submit button will only appear on the 1st of August. On your mobile phone, you'll see a similar thing. It says sub submission instruction selection. It has all the same information and your submit button there on the right hand side of the table. When you click on the submit button, it'll open a new page to say that you are performing a submission for your site name, the type of submission that you're performing, the cycle that you're submitting for, as well as the instrument that you are submitting on. If all of these details are correct, and this is the cycle, the instrument and the lab that you want to submit for, you can click on continue. On your mobile phone, it'll look exactly the same. You can click on continue. This will open your result capture page. So on this result capture page, we have some brief instructions here that tells you about how to complete the result table. So you complete the result table with the results obtained by filling in the specimen ID and the corresponding MTB result and RIF result where applicable for each EQA specimen. For each EQA specimen, you'll also click on the choose file button and upload a screenshot or capture an image on your mobile camera of the TrueNet MTB results screen. So before we get to the result table, there are these two things that we require you to complete first, which is the panel lot number and the instrument, the date that the instrument was last calibrated. And then you can start by completing the numerical barcode or the specimen ID in this first column. On your mobile phone, it'll present exactly in the same way, with short instructions, the panel lot number, date instrument was last calibrated, and your result capture table. Once you have captured your specimen ID, you can choose the right result from this result drop down menu. And this is what your menu will look like on your computer screen. And this is what your menu will look like on your mobile screen. So you'll have all the same options on either screen to select your result from. Once you've selected your result, you're going to use the Choose File button to upload an image. So on your computer screen, you will select Choose File, select the image from the right folder that you've saved it, and select Open. On your mobile screen, it will give you the option to use your camera to capture an image or to go to your files if you have stored the images or sent them to your mobile phone via Bluetooth. And you can select the image from there. Once you have completed all the specimen IDs, each with their result and their image file, 
on the bottom of the screen, there's a submit button and you can click on submit. If you would like to add any comments, you are welcome to add any comments in this comment section before you select submit. On your mobile phone, it will display exactly the same. Once you've completed the barcodes, um, the results and chosen all the right file images, you can click submit at the bottom here. If you want to add any additional comments, you're welcome to do so in the block provided before you click on submit. If you have clicked on the submit button, you will receive a message such as this that says your submission is now complete. You have successfully submitted your results and you will receive an email notification when your report is ready for download. This will display exactly the same on your mobile screen as well if you are submitting via your mobile phone. And when you have received your um, email notification to say that your report is ready for download, to view your report, you will log into SSQ Monitor again. Go to the submission history to view your EQ report. So on the top ribbon here, under submissions, there's EQA submission history, and you'll be able to see your site name, the date that it was submitted, who submitted it, what the panel ID is, the device is, the cycle is, the phase is, what your score is, and you'll be able to download your report by clicking on this button over here. On your mobile screen, it will present exactly the same. You'll be able to see your submission history for everything that you've submitted thus far. And on the far right, you can click on download report to download your report. When you download your report, it will look like this. <laughs> um, it'll say that it's part of the TrueNet MTB Ref EQA. It'll have your lab name, lab ID, device serial number, device name, the report status, the panel number, the report number, the date submitted, and the date released, as well as a table of all the results that you've submitted. So you'll be able to see all four of the specimens with the expected result, the result that you reported, as well as the individual scores, a panel score for the total panel, a panel score percentage, and a panel outcome that is graphically represented in this graph over here. Once you have submitted three panels or all three panels for this year, you'll be able to see a frame score percentage and a frame outcome because this is calculated by the last three consecutive results. So for the first two panels, you'll see not applicable on the frame score, but after you've submitted all three for this year, you'll be able to see your frame score and your performance for the entire year. That is it. <laughs> That is how result submission works for the SmartBot EQA program.